Kechianya attacking Ian Hart. Now stands the cross up. There's no one there at the far post. It's hooked away by Ward Dean. He's first to it. His first touch takes him away from the air, out to the area. Then fires the shot in. What a strike that is from Troy Deeney and Watford go nap. All his own work as Bournemouth stood off him and allowed him to turn on the edge of the box. And he thumped it right footed off the left hand post into the back of the net. understandably to get on this one against his former club. Got on the score sheet here against Bournemouth. McGugan takes this one! Some strike from Lewis McGugan against his former club. He doesn't celebrate, but everyone else of a Watford persuasion does. They're level, 54 minutes on the clock. Well, this is absolutely magnificent. A touch of class as well from McGugan, not really to celebrate. He appreciates what Forrest has done for him in his career, but this is what he can do over a dead ball. He can be devastating, and Darlow nowhere near it at all. And Watford as a side have struggled to break Forrest down, but they have players with individual brilliance, and Lewis McGugan is one of them. That is unstoppable. Ahead of him goes the opposite way to Batocchio. It's a lovely finish off the underside of the bar from Christian Batocchio. And Watford finally double their advantage. Not even at the midway point of the second half, but Bournemouth will struggle to get back from this. And Anya bursting forward. Perkins chasing back, still going here, Akechi Anya! Wonderful solo effort. Perkins couldn't catch him. And a breakaway goal gets Watford their fifth of the afternoon. Akechi Anya makes it Barnsley one, Watford five. Navrini has it again from Pudel. Can he release for Tokyo? No, he can't. Whitaker closes his legs. He's not an up mate, but he's given it straight to Connor to Ferroni. Ferroni attacks the edge of the air. Ferroni onto his right foot. Oh, what a goal! David Ferroni into the top corner! And Watford have a second goal! What a strike from the right wing back, David Ferroni! He tested Bun a few moments ago. He was equal to that one. This time, he has no answer. Guga, it's really good stuff from Watford. They just need the end product now. McGugan looking for the top corner and finds it. When you need a goal, Lewis McGugan is the man to provide it. He's torn, 10 yards inside the middle half. Sosa pings it out to the left-hand side and finds a catchy annual, level with the edge of the area. And Guggen comes over as well to help him out, but uh, skips around Martin Walford. Now he attacks the edge of the box, he can find the shot in here, right foot in, into the top corner! What a strike from a catchy annual! And that is surely game over, two and a half minutes into the second period. No chance for David Ford, it fired and reared into the roof of the net. The catchy Anya has his second goal of the season, every outfield player celebrates. It is Watford three, Millwall now. Strand just turns away from his own penalty area and finds Patokio, who's playing in the right back position. He now fires it for Fatini. Great ball around the corner, Fatini. Forestieri's clean through. Forestieri gets to Pantelimon. Forestieri scores! Watford take the lead at the Etihad Stadium. Fernando Forestieri puts the Hornets ahead on the 20 minute mark. The goal's been coming. Watford have had the better chances and now they've taken one. Great football, measured build up. Dini with the ball around the corner. And this season, Fernando Forestieri makes no mistake when clean through. Oh, what a flick! That is some effort! 
He might have missed a couple of headers, but a moment of supreme improvisation gives Watford a city ground lead. Well, third time lucky for the big centre half. I guess both defences have looked slightly vulnerable from set pieces. He takes advantage again, he gets ahead of his marker, and that is the most outrageous attempt of the lot. Outside of the boot, back heeled. Mustieri will run hard, and he'll keep the ball in play. Delap didn't play the ball and allowed him in. Akichi Anya. Now Murray drives it hard and drives it into the bottom corner. And Watford have doubled their lead before the break and against all the odds, but not necessarily against the run of play in the last few minutes. Beppe San Ineo's Watford have definitely taken a surprise lead. Dini, lovely turn. Oh, superb finish. Well, two for Energy and now two for Troy Dini this afternoon. Sticking in Blackpool, wearing hurts on the Hornets, 4-0. Daniel Pudil, the left hand side, cuts the ball back to the edge of the area. To Paul Clearance, who comes up to Tokyo, takes a couple of touches and fires it into the far corner. What a strike that is from Christian Batokyo. He killed it in an instant on his first touch and it sat up nicely. And he hammered it past Luke Steele from 20 yards.